recent and rapid rise in assaults on bus drivers, prompting one transit agency to take some action. KTV South Bay reporter Jesse Gary live for us this afternoon in San Mateo with what's being done and also, Jesse, some reaction from frontline workers. Heather, good evening to you. Samtrans operates 71 bus lines here in San Mateo County. The busiest ones are along the El Camino corridor, which is just off to my left. It's here where officials say drivers are facing increasing acts of violence. Samtrans bills itself as the peninsula's public transit connector, but increasingly its bus operators are targets of attack. The driving part, I would say about 20% of the job and the 80% is dealing with the public. That's what makes it very difficult. 22-year employee Ernie Solero is not only a union president but also a bus operator. He says the district's 320 drivers routinely face verbal and physical assaults with some passengers even spitting on them. Sometimes it's just uh, like uh, over the, the fair dispute and also when the operator just tried to uh, enforce uh, the, the rules when I was telling her not to lie down the bus so other passengers can actually use the seat and she just kind of ran towards me. Solero escaped that encounter without harm, but it wasn't an outlier. According to Sam Trans, a handful of such incidents from 2018 to 2022 spiked last year. There were 14 cases of assaults against bus operators in 2023. This mirrors a national trend that's really concerning. And so it's our mission to prevent as many of these assaults as we possibly can. The district is installing see-through protective barriers around the driver's compartment to help reduce the risk of violence. Additionally, Samtran's board days ago approved enacting a new code of conduct and enforcement policy. It applies to all passengers and members of the public. The policy targets behaviors including harassment, discrimination, fare evasion, physical and verbal assault, and carrying or using weapons. Violators can be removed from a Sam Tram's vehicle and be banned from future use for a defined or indefinite period of time. I would really think it's going to make a whole lot of difference with our bus operators, especially for our female operators. So far this year, officials say there have been four assaults on Sam Trans buses, which is below the national average, at least so far. The petitions we mentioned are being installed right now. That work should be completed in the next three months. As for the code of conduct, that'll be active once it is posted to the Sam Trans website. We're live in San Mateo this evening. Jesse Gary, KTVU, Fox 2 News. Heather, back up to you. Yeah, we'll, we'll see if those things do, in fact, work. All right, Jesse, thank you.